Hello there, this is Rupesh and welcome to CPB Nuts video series on C++. In this video, we'll learn about how to write a sample program in C++. So this is kind of a sample program. So let's try to understand this from this very first line of this program. Okay. So this line is including this IO stream header file. This is a header file somewhere in your computer. You are including that. So if you are absolute beginner, you will find it little bit difficult to understand what is this inclusion and all these things are. But let's try to understand this in this way. If you want some functionality in your program, like this is C out and this is used for giving output to your screen. So, and this is the message which will be displayed on screen. Okay. So you are using the functionality of giving the output to the user. So that functionality is available in this IO stream. So until unless you include this, you won't be able to use any of the functionality of this header. Okay. So let's suppose tomorrow you are in mood to make some string operation. You might include some another header file. Let's suppose another one is string. Okay. So this string is for processing the string in your computer. So if you are including this, then here you can process strings. Until unless you're including this string, you won't be able to process that. Okay. So it's that simple. You want something include that. That's it. So that inclusion syntax is like this. This is hash include and then you give the name of the header file. Now the question comes, how would you know what file you need to include? So that comes with practice. Okay. So I'm there. Don't worry about that. So this was about this header file. Now let's talk about this using namespace std here. Using namespace is a command which includes libraries. So this std is nothing but a library name. This stands for standard and this semicolon is mandatory in order to terminate any statement in your program. Okay. So this is statement you are terminating with, with this. This is also a statement you are terminating it with this. So you have to terminate all the statement with this semicolon. Okay. But you might be thinking that why I'm not terminating this line with this semicolon and this line and this IO stream, because these lines are not the statement. They are not statement. Don't worry. You will get this statement thing very quickly. Okay. So what is this standard? As I told, this is a library. You can think of as your college library, like it has lots of books and lots of informations. So this STD is also having a lots of informations in that. So we need those information in order to run our program here. Okay. For example, this C out belongs to this STD library. Actually, this is created in STD library, but its declaration is there in this IO stream. That's why we are including this one as well as this one. Okay. This IO stream is nothing but input output stream. So this was about using namespace standard. Now let's talk about this line here. So first of all, we'll talk about this main here. This is a function. This whole thing is a function here, which is starting from this starting curly braces and ending it with this ending curly braces. Can you see that this is like opening and closing curly braces? And it is telling that the main function is starting here and ending here. Okay. And this main function returns integer. So it's like you are calling something and you are executing line by line. Once everything is done, you are returning something from here. So you need a data type, which is this integer. We all know what is integer data type like 0, 1, 10, 000. Okay. So that is integer. That's why we are writing this integer here. So this is a rule that main function should return integer from your program and main should be only return one time in your whole program. Let's suppose you're having tons and tons of lines of code, but in that you will be having only one main function. Then only your program will run. Otherwise it will tell there are more than one main functions and why it should be one because your operating system search for this function only in order to start your program, because you might be having thousands and thousands of lines of your code and there won't be any way that from where you need to start. So that's why this main function was created. So everyone knows that, okay, there is this main function. I need to start from here. Okay. Don't worry about this parenthesis for now. We'll see this later. 
when we will see how to call function and how to pass values in that okay so for now it's enough to know this much about this main here let's talk about this line now this c out is used for giving output to the system and this is the way of doing that you just leave this e and dl for now we'll see this little later this c out is an object residing in this standard library and this is the way of giving output this is stream insertion operator and this is your character stream so it is like you are inserting this stream into this c out and this will show this to the screen okay once we'll run this so this is how it works and next line is this return zero we are returning from this main zero because this is also a rule if you are returning zero from your main function it means your whole execution was successful so let's run this program and see how it looks like so for running that you go to this build here come here build and run so press this if you press this it will show you this output here hello my world so this hello my world is coming as your output so we'll recap quickly this is the place where you include the functionalities whatever the functionalities you want let's suppose you want to process audio or video you will include some header files for that and then you will be able to use those functionalities okay here i am using the functionality of giving output to the user that's why i'm including this io stream here this io stream is nothing but input output stream okay and this one is including a library you will pretty much write these two lines for almost all of your code because you might be going for this c out c in and all that so this output will require this standard library and this io stream header file because this c out is written in this std library and this is your main function your whole program will be in this this is the name of your function and this defines the start and, and the end of your function you are writing whatever you will write the statements will execute line by line okay and at last you are returning zero this zero is of type integer that's why you're writing integer here and this is the rule you have to write integer here and that's it so if you feel that it's like you have to remember io stream you have to remember using namespace std and all that and you have to remember what is the syntax of this and all okay yes you have to remember it but don't worry about that why because this is a language and remember when you was kid you was learning language without knowing the reason behind that whatever the language you was learning your original language you almost remember everything and we know language is having so many words and so many grammatical stuff then also you know everything about your language so this is also a language here and it is not having that much big scope like in your language you might be having thousands of words this is having few hundreds so you will start learning this language very quickly than your regional language and learning some language always start with some mugging so if you think you are mugging this program don't worry about that you will start making sense out of everything okay so stay with me i'll make sure you are not having any problem in learning c++ so guys this was your sample program video in c++ in next video we will learn how to take input from the user and give output to the user this is example of giving output to the user but this is very basic example we have lots of things to do with this okay so i'll see you in the next video